Oh, what up, y'all? We are doing a Masters Chaos Draft, and the Masters Chaos Draft um, means it's Chaos Draft, but with only Masters Edition packs, as I was informed by Chorwit today. What pack is this? Double Masters? Is that what this is? No. This is Iconic Masters, right? Chad, I appreciate you saying so, man. You are awesome, dude. Chad, are you looking forward to Cyberpunk? I know you are, because you were complaining about it on Facebook. So, I I can't wait. That's like next week, man. Iconic Master is great. Is great. I have you on silent because I'm watching the Zappa doc. Don't say anything not nice. Just a little bit. I only have three days off. Oh, that's right, because your, your days you took off were, were unfortunately... Uh, you know, messed up from the. I'm taking Simic Growth Chamber. I think it was either that or the other one. Bounce Land seemed fantastic. Um, oh, I kind of want Denrova Horror here. That seems that's always good. God, really, we're gonna Simic Growth Chamber into Denrova Horror. We're gonna do this on our first cast draft. Oh, you moved them to an eight. Well, that's good. That's better than nothing then. I mean, three days is still a lot of time. Thank you. You know, you just play 10 hours a day. That's 30 hours. That's like halfway through the game. If it's like a 70 hour game, you know. I actually have no idea how long it is. Oh my god, Chort with the gifted sub. Whoever that is. <laughs> 164 hours to go until release. That is a spe specific statistic. Oh, Putrefy. That's a nice pickup for our Sultai deck. That's real good, man. These are great. Growth Chamber, Denerva Horror, Putrefy. Oh, yeah. If Slime Molding comes back, I'll be fine. That's 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 pretty much all I care about. Corpse Connoisseur. I have a timer in my work Slack channel that announces each hour. Oh, my God. <laughs> Our deck's looking sweet. If we could just stop here and I could just play this deck, I'd be, I'd probably be fine with it. Eye Blight's ending. Ooh, that's a nice one. I like the master sets. I usually typically very much enjoy the master sets because they are a little bit higher of a power level than regular sets. And, um... having them all together like this actually seems pretty decent this deck looks sweet so far putrefy eye blight sending nerve horror if we can get a demure aqueduct that'd be great oh zelly with the bits you can't even hear me but you're cheering. I appreciate you, buddy. I appreciate you. Nourishing Shoal. This is gain life, right? Unless we're playing like Gristle Brand. Grishol Brand. I kind of like Totem Armor. I don't know how many creatures we're going to have for spider spawning. Hmm. There's a picture of Mike being a turtle. Oh, God. <laughs> Reminders. <laughs> I like that chat. I like that the the bot, uh, the timer is more vocal than most people in the chat. I think it's Bore Umbra. I kind of like Bore Umbra. Thank you for gesturing to the camera while I can't hear you. I got you, bro. 
I kind of like Return Phalanx. It's just a 3-3 three, three that blocks and it can attack at some point. Don't care about you. Don't care about you. Wild Heart Invoker is also real good, actually. I'm going to take Wild Heart Invoker, actually. You know, I don't think it is crab time. I don't think a 1-3 three for 3 is really where I'm at, like, emotionally. This guy's really good if you can start pumping it. Plus 5, plus 5, and trample on any of your guys makes combat really difficult. Gelatinous Genesis is actually kind of sweet. For 7 mana, you get 3 3 threes. For 9 mana, you get 4 4 fours. I actually appreciate the scalability of this card. I got a meeting with some people in Estonia in an hour. Is that true? At 9.30? The channel is just the 8 most hardcore cyberpunk fans in the office. <laughs> Well, that's good. At least you're among your own people. Havoc Demon dies. All creatures get an egg fun. I mean, this is just a 7 mana 5 5 flyer. Um. Could just be Nature's Claim. I'll just take the Demon. Oh wow, Celestia Sanctuary came back? That's real sweet. I'll just take that. You turn back into a night owl? No, I just... I didn't get a chance to stream earlier today and Katie went to bed early, so... I was like, you know what? I'll stream now. I'll take Slaughterhorn. Thank you. Yeah, night meeting actually, if you're awake, night meeting sounds better. Like the person who just bought my PS4 for me literally came by like half an hour ago. They were like, I'll swing by now. And I was like, alright, I'll be awake, so. Uh I mean giant baiting is the only thing I'm gonna play. I don't go breaking my heart. I like Avon Rift Watcher. Yeah, Gaseous Form is kind of removal. There's a lot of three drops here. We have literally no two drops. Which I don't love. <clears throat> the, the completionism achievement took most testers 175 hours. How much for the just the base game? Uh, I'll just take this guy. having a smooth sail over the marketplace is dude i'm gonna be honest with you like i didn't want to admit it but facebook's a really efficient place to sell things craigslist as soon as i list something on craigslist i get multiple text messages from like fucking bots and they're like is this still available and i'm like no but facebook is nice because you can literally see who the person is you can see their posts you can see if they're like a normal human being so it's like it's kind of it's kind of interesting it's kind of like a personal ad attached to like Oh, Rakdos Carnarium. Are we just having all five of the colors here? Algae Gargle is pretty crazy. Spread the Sickness is also good. Midnight Banshee's good. People are guessing the main campaign only takes 34 hours. Okay, that's more that's way more reasonable. That's insane that there's like 130 extra hours of stuff in the game though, outside of the main campaign. I bought a giant box hot hands on him. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> I think it spread the sickness, but algae gargoyle is real tempting. I think the Witcher's main campaign is insanely long, though. That's actually one of the, the few things that has prevented me from playing the Witcher. <sighs> this guy's just got Shroud. I'm just going to take this guy. I think it's just too good with Shroud. 
Like it's the same um lumber knot. Is it like lumber knot? You know, Midnight Banshee Oh my god, I was like, Volcanic Island, what are you doing? Oh, this is a This is a vintage masters pack for sure. I like him to Torok here. I think that's a lot higher power level than than most cards are gonna be. Yeah, I'll take him to Torok. If the Repel or the Psychotog comes back, I think that's fine. Psychotog is no longer a banned card in like any format, unfortunately. Or fortunately, I guess it's fine. Um, Dismal Backwater seems great. Oh, so does Jungle Hollow, though. We already... Mm, I think we want the... I think we want the Black Land, so we'll be sure to take that. I think we're also more green, which means we're probably going to run more forests. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to take Dismal Backwater. And maybe Jungle Hollow comes back. Oh, Demir Signet? Oh, wow. Yeah, that this pack isn't even that great. Yeah, all right, sweet. Ch Chalice of the Void, huh? Okay. Oh, Vidalcan Dismissor I actually really like. I think Thalad Sheldoler is also fine. Every three turns you get a 1-1. One, one. I want to take Dismissor. But yeah, Signets being in this queue is gas, and getting an on-color Signet is also gas. Oh, wow. Did we just get back-to-back -back Modern Master Specs? It's kind of interesting. Um, Might just be Sheldoler. We actually have very few early plays, and it is... What in the earth? Wallace Ray, what are you doing? Hey, bud. You okay? It's Wallace Ray should be in bed right now, but he came in here. I don't know. Said they only had something like 10% of players finish the full Witcher 3 campaign, so they shortened it. Um, I think that's great because I, for me, like if I want to stream it, I just want to play the main campaign because I don't want to commit like a hundred and plus hours to it, but I would like to just sit around my house and commit a hundred plus hours to it. You know, I think it's, I think it's great to have a shorter main campaign, but still a ton of content. That's like the, that's just a great philosophy. Wallathy does go to bed when he feels like it, apparently. It's only—it's gonna be a moment until he before he scratches at the door and he realizes he doesn't actually want to be in here. But Is he okay in here? I mean, as long as he wants to be in here, but I'm pretty sure he's probably just gonna leave right now. Oh my god! Child of Night could be fun. Actually, Hunt the Week's probably pretty good. It's just more removal. And like, Child of the Night's not super impressive, but I think Hunt the Week is actually really good. I don't know what's going on out there. Bunch of dog shenanigans. Lord of the Pit's a little, a little frightening. Okay. <laughs> really getting things sorted out here. We could also take Orzlob Basilica because I really think they're good. But we've already seen two. I think we're just taking Hunt the Week. Life from the loam. See, there's cards like that, and you're like, well, that's not going to do anything. I actually kind of like Spider Umber. It's a nice little protection card. I don't think Buried Alive or Life from the Loam are very good. I also don't care about Patchwork Gnomes. I'll just take Spider Umber. Plague Drusalka, I guess. Not gonna play Mirror Enforcer, like we don't even have any we have one artifact right now. Oh, gray hair Mike. Wow, that's that's hurtful. 
Probably true. You handsome boy. You get out of here, you. Oh, Psychotog came back? That's wild. That's absolutely bananas. Oh, I like Wake Dancer, actually. Actually, this 2 1 Death Touch seems great. I'm gonna take that guy instead of the stupid Wake Dancer. Get out of here, Wake Dancer. Guys, my article this week was about board games and about what some of my favorite board games are that I've been playing a lot recently. So you guys should check it out at Cool Stuff Inc. Link is in the comments and in, in the chat. And you guys should leave me a comment Shut in the article and let me know. One handsome buck? Oh my god. You're too good for me. Too good to me, I guess, huh? I read it. Nice. I love board games. I'll definitely check it out. I mean, some of them are deck building games. One of them is a deck building game. Is your favorite board game Snake and Ladder? <laughs> Next time I visit you, we need to play some board games. Chad, we should definitely get together again once, uh... <laughs> you know, once it's... <sighs> Fuck. Once this... Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Oh, Lord of the Pit last pick? Sure. 2020 has been a hell of a hell of a year. It's funny because in the early, in the beginning of the year, in around January, I moved in with Jake, my friend Jake in Utah. And then February and March rolled around, and we didn't get to do anything. We were like, we'll hang out. We can play. We can draft every week because Jake owned a game store, and uh, it'll be super cool. You know, it'll be great because we can just drive there together on the weekend. We can go. We can go like camping and do all kinds of stuff. <sighs> Month after I moved there, COVID hits, and then between March and July or June, we get to do like basically nothing. We're all just self, you know, we're doing our own thing. We're not hanging out a ton because Jake's like going to work and stuff. So you don't want to like, I don't want to interact too much. And um, then June, me and Katie and Mike moved to our house here. And, uh, you know, since since we moved to Colorado, it's been COVID as well. So it's like, it's like, it sucks because I've literally lived in, I, I moved to Utah this year and I moved to Denver this year and I haven't been able to fucking do anything in either place. And that sucks. Ant Queen is real strong. Oh, River of Tears. Jungle Barrier. 2-6 Defender that draws you a card? Come on, man. Come on. How many packs are like... Oh, it's 3K. Three, it's three I don't know why I thought that. For some reason, I'm like, I, for some reason, I thought it was like Supreme Draft. I'm like, how many packs are here? I kind of don't hate Jungle Barrier. Loved your article today. Lords of Waterdeep is a great game. I've recently become a board game nerd and have a ton of... Oh, dude, yeah, like... So part of my cool stuff payment is actually store credit. Like, they give me a good amount of store credit and, and, and a good around, amount of regular money for my articles. And so, like, every month I accumulate a bunch of store credit from, like, my, my weekly articles. And it's super... It's kind of super cool. I kind of like it a lot because it gives me a great excuse to, like, pick up like great cube cards or pick up board games that I want to try and, and I'm not like spending actual money on it you know <sighs> this pack's really interesting we have Mana Leak I like Jungle Bear I even like River of Tears Chad I've definitely I've seen the pictures online oh you're talking to Shoe Garner got it got it got it I'm gonna take Mana Leak I think Mana Leak's just way too strong Imperiosaur I don't love having to cast it by basic this is a lot of modern mastering packs as well. I mean, this is still just fine. I'm going to take the Velican Dismisser again. We don't have a ton of top end. I don't know if Havoc Demon's making the cut. It is a big flyer, but it kills all my things, presumably. Mark, I agree with you completely. I think we're actually coming up to a very, very 
a very very hopeful period with, with so many there's like three vaccines right now that all have very positive uh results and uh hopefully i mean obviously you know manufacturing is a concern and being able to make sure the most vulnerable people get them first is definitely the priority so i feel like someone like me i'm definitely gonna get it last but I, as long as we're like actively working to protecting uh, you know the people we care about and like people over the, the you know the the weaker members of, of our society I, I you know that's fine i'll just i'll wait it out a little longer it's not a big deal that i can't go to fucking applebee's <sighs> pongify is good this guy's actually fine it's a three three it gives artifact creatures plus one plus one it gives flying trampler haste to other guys forge master isn't great uh Phil, I did not see your cube. I, I I did see that you emailed me, but you didn't actually send me the cube. So <laughs> it was harder to look at it in that in that situation. I'll just take Pongify. I did not take Pongify. I took Gollum Artisan. I, I love when that happens because it lets me say to myself, well, I just lost a valuable removal spell. So I'm probably just going to submit a thing. Tried to pick a Pongify, took a Golem Artisan instead. 949 MDT. Like, it's just, it just shouldn't be a thing anymore. Like, I, I've put like six, six reimbursement requests in whenever that happens, and it should just be taken care of by now. I think Famine is really strong, but I kind of like Nightscape Familiar for this. Actually, I like it less because it only hits blue cards. I think Famine's probably good. We could also save our Psychotog. Anything with Boar Umber will live. Well, Phil, you can't send it again if you didn't send it the first time. <laughs> Second Brainstorm. I kind of like Shoreline Ranger. It just cycles for an island. I think that's fine. It's not really a six drop. It's kind of more of a two drop. What does Thief of Hope do whenever he casts a spirit or arcane spell? Pretty sure we have very few of those. Yeah, Changeling's kind of fine, I guess. I also don't hate Vines of the Masswood. I can save a thing like a, an Ant Queen or a Denerva Horror. Don't go breaking my heart. I like my full-size bed. Anything bigger would take up too much space in my room. What is the top... Uh, yeah, I used to think queen was the top tier bed. and I, I, my, my previous bed has been a queen for like a long time. Um... Me and Katie moved up to a king, and it has been one of the best decisions we've ever made. It's fantastic. I can lay on the bed and read comics and on my iPad. I can watch YouTube videos. She can read her book. There's room for the dogs. It's actually fantastic. I'm going to take Dothy Marauder. That guy's just a good threat. We only have 21 cards? Huh, interesting. How many burst lightnings are we passing? Also, the River of Deceit didn't come back? That's fascinating. I mean, it might just be Gnarled Pack. Could be Grim Affliction, too. We don't have any counter synergies, I guess. Oh, another Celestia Sanctuary with nothing white to splash. Makes me sad. Still gonna take it. Could take Dispeller's Capsule now. It's a pretty easy splash. Also, Skyreach Manta. How good are you? We have four colors. It's a 4 4 flyer for five. Yeah. Circular logic? And we have Psychotog? 
That's pretty decent. Wow, lots of red cards. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad. So this is 24 cards. Shoreline Ranger is likely more of a two drop. I could probably cut Slaughterhorn. I like my king size bed. I can. Well, it's like it's hard to do those things like when you have someone else in the bed, you know. And we got the dogs up there. It's a whole thing, man. We got a whole thing going on. And we're cutting Slaughterhorn. Everything else, our deck seems pretty fine. No double blue cards either, which is very, very nice. Playing by color. Okay, so this is six blue with plus a signet. Five, six, seven, eight. And then three, four, five. Four, five, six, seven, four, five, six, three, four, five, six. Six, six, seven. Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, we do get one more. Hmm. It's funny, we actually have more blue than black here. We do have double black for him to Torok, though. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, six. I'm tempted to be sixteen lands. And just play one more card. Three small dogs plus me and the wife absolutely max out our king. Yeah, it's it's usually me, Katie, Wally, and, and Watson. Hunter usually doesn't, just sleeps on the floor. Does the bed actually play the YouTube videos? Unfortunately, no. We did not get the purple that, that plays YouTube videos. I regret it every day. I kind of just want more mana, to be honest with you. Yeah, I think this is fine. Because we also have a decent payoff in 3-6 drops, Ant Queen, and Gelatinous Genesis. So, 17 lands with 3 bounce lands is pretty high. Mike B did hide all the fancy yogurt. What a scumbag. Get it together, Michael B. Oh my god, Monsonster with the continued sub. I appreciate you, buddy. This stick has a lot of power. I just hope it's able to, like, not die. Yes. Ooh. Okay. Being on the play and having a bounce land is pretty nice, especially with a Demir Siggy. Y'all ever eat pizza in the bath? I don't even take baths, so. Finally got the financial stitch kind of stable. Monsanto, I really appreciate it, buddy. I have known a Monsanto for a long time. Hmm. What we can do is play Island into Signet. Next turn we can go Psychotog, Selesnya Sanctuary, which I think is probably better. Because otherwise we go Sanctuary this turn, and then next turn we get to play Signet, and we still don't have much going on. Oh, you got that Diet Coke shower? I guess that would call that the Shower Diet Coke.
You got it. Cycles McToggles. Let's bounce the island. In case we draw like him to Torok. Oh, Grenadine Bubble Bath. That sounds delicious. You got it. Kiln Fiend. Super do 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 do. Don't be a land. One, two, three, four. Well, we're actually not terribly far from that. I'm gonna play a second green because I'd like to be able to kick this if I if I feel like it. Man, we're gonna go double Vidalcan dismisser here. How about you just wash yourself in a root beer float? That sounds great. Yes, we can still cast Kim if we if, if we cast Swamp, but or if we play Swamp rather, but Look man, I just wanted to have it in play, okay? I think you're so smart. With your him and your Han. Let's get dismissing. Should I start attacking with this guy? Let's get in there for one whole point. Sure, you got it. Oh, this guy again? Oh, this is where they go lightning bolt? They didn't lightning bolt. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> Keep on casting this guy. <laughs> Just keep drawing him, that's all. Just keep drawing the same dude. <sighs> that's just food for the Psychotog. He's like, I'll play it again. Josh with the resub. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. This guy again, wow. He just keeps showing up. It's like a bad penny. If you know what I mean. Don't be a land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. One of them is land. It seems okay. What can we deal here? One, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can deal ten damage. That is a lot. Not gonna really take advantage of Psychotog unless we uh, plan on winning on the spot. <laughs> Watching this stream is a whole lot better than the sleep I was planning on getting. Wow, this deck really looks like it wants instants and sorceries, <laughs> except I haven't seen a single one yet, which is fascinating. In Rova Horror? Let's 
We gotta cast something on our turn. This actually seems pretty good. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Not bad. Four four flyer. Not the worst. I'm just gonna pass here. They've already proven to me that they're not blocking. So, oh, we can actually proliferate onto this guy. That's really nice. It's pretty good. Okay. I feel like we're outclassing our opponent right now, but... You know. Who can really say? I think I want to play Island to keep Grim Affliction and Vines of the Basswood up, so... Um, oh, we can't... I guess we can't keep both up, so I didn't really need to play the land. That's my bad. So, one, two, three, four, five... I guess that still keeps them. I guess that keeps both of them up. So, man, Ant Queen, and we still have Vines to protect whatever. They have one card in hand. Yeah, I feel like we're going to the next game. Okay. Okie dokie. They have a bunch of small little nerds. Famine could be good. Plague Salka could be interesting. Even if it just sacks itself to kill a young Pyromancer. I do kind of like Famine here. I can actually probably cut a land. Let's cut an island. We also have Shoreline Ranger to find an island. I think it's actually fine because we're playing three bounce lands and 17 lands. An artifact with sunburst drawn from your deck. Is it possible the Skyreach Manta can be coming to play with four counters on it? Um, well, it's not ideal. <laughs> it's pretty bad. But, one bounce land and we're way back in it. Especially since our bounce lands are like Celestia Sanctuary, Simic Growth Chamber. Algae Gariel. Was watching you cube on the tube. I kind of like that key. Which one? The core set? I think it was fine. I think it definitely had some issues that I was not super fond of, but... I think ultimately, like, it was okay. Come on, Demir Signet or a Celestius or a or a Bounce Land, Simic, Simic Growth Chamber. Man, Link's very similar to the cards I mentioned. And this guy is coming down the mountain. They didn't do anything though. Land? Yeah, me asking for too much, I'm sure. Issues equal goalless plus nexus of fate going infinite. When are they going to let you create a cube for wizards? Probably never. I've only missed one land drop so far. Let's see if it... Hey, would you look at that? 
Okay, we get to keep up Eye Blight's ending at least, in case they play something. They haven't played much, which is like our saving grace here. Yeah, that's fine. If they flash it back, we're... Oh, they, they're not going to flash it back. I kind of just want to kill this guy, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I don't feel like taking four, and they haven't put any more pressure on the board. So... Yeah, alright. Land? Dothy Mercenary, alright, well... Well, there was a Grixis cube, so I could definitely see a Sultai cube from me being on brand, but I'd want it to be good. I actually thought the Grixis cube was just fine. Just fine. Just fine. You ever say something enough and it just starts to lose all meaning? We're going to be just fine. Just fine. Yes, the Grixis cube was not only gold cards. It was just cards that were green... Uh, not green, I don't think of the Soul Hat Cube. Um, it was just cards that were black, red, and blue. So, Well, we get to play Ant Queen next turn into Denrova Horror slash Vidalcan Dismisser. So, I'm not entirely sure what's going on. I mean, I thought we had really bad draws, but it seems like our opponent might have worse draws. Well, oh, here's something big. Mm -hmm. that is that is a thing that exists sacrifice I guess plus one plus oh that's fine I'm actually kind of tempted to play Gariel here instead Like, Ant Queen attacks back here, but I can I think we can go without attacking for a turn because we're going to start bouncing things. And if they want to start sacking a bunch of creatures to prosh to deal more damage, like, this guy's just going to get out of hand. They do have Reckless Charge, so they can give this guy plus three. Attack for eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's pretty good. That's eight. Second reckless charge. Wow. All right. So they literally just won by casting a six drop and giving it plus nine plus oh. Seems good. If only we had one blue source before turn 14. Yep. You got it. It's incredible. They literally play nothing except for a 1-1 one, one for seven turns. Oh, boy. Double black card, green card, double green card, black card, three islands. Yep, this is better. We'll keep this, and we will ship the island. Man, I wish I had a one mana Pongify that I could have in my deck. That would be super cool.
Yeah, this is the great anti-mulligan tech because now like I still have six cards in my hand and two mana on board. Bounce lands are fantastic for mulliganing. Because it's like two lands in one. <laughs> Yeah, like, I mean, that turn we could have literally had, like, we had mana up for Pongify, which if that was a card in my deck would have been an option to, to keep around. Rift Bolt. I kind of like that, because now we can... God, are we just getting blown out here? They have fire ice, it's rough, but if they're just gonna rift bolt us, it's fine. Uh, I don't like this at all. Yep, of course. <sighs> Never don't have two answers in hand. One, two, three, four, five. We have seven mana, so we're, at some point we can make three, three, threes, and this is just a waste of a rift bolt, really. Thunderous Wrath. I mean, this is fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we can just cast Gelatinous for seven. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, ideally, we draw a six drop next turn. Are they going to cast it? Oh, excuse me. I have one green. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Here, here, how about a, you want to play a five drop bomb? Sure. You only have one green, idiot. Sounds good. How many sources of green do you have in the deck? Eight. Eh, that's not enough. That would be enough if I had a two color deck. If I had a two color deck, eight green sources is actually a good amount. Nah, eh, you don't have that, stupid. That's a good point. I didn't think about that. Thanks for clarifying. pay costs a braid one token that's a one for yep that's a one third for for one it's a good rate for us trepanation blade Second green source one time. Actually, I kind of like that a lot. That's pretty good. I mean, now we just attack with both of these guys and then keep up uh, circular logic for three. Sure. I mean, this could this could do the deed. Mad Profit. Draw a card, discard a card. <sighs> I 
I don't feel like giving him a looter is a great idea. Unfortunately, Psychotog doesn't get counters. Can you imagine? Put a 1-1 one -one counter on Psychotog. Like he, like he's not good enough. That's really fascinating here. One, two. Oh, we just win the game. Okay. Interesting. Okay, we're not gonna argue. Okay. Gnardic seems sweet, so. Clock disparity was real. They had seven minutes less than us. I don't understand it, but that's okay. Also, what's up to everybody in the chat? If you guys have not considered it, definitely, uh, definitely consider it, I guess. Consider subscribing or following. I stream at least five days a week. We love drafting cubes and playing historic and standard on Arena. It's a great way to support the channel as well. It's the holidays. Have a little holiday cheer. I'll complete this rent goal one day, guys. <laughs> one day. Um, yeah, this seems fine. We do like playing Among Us occasionally, and also we have a... I think you guys play Among Us in the Discord channel, the subscriber Discord channel as well. So if you guys are looking for a good group um, for Among Us, definitely, definitely check out the subscriber Discord channel. You know, subscribe to do that, of course, but... Hmm. I refuse to sub until you play deck or format X. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> take my money. One festive buck, Kurt. Love it. Oh, interesting. I'm going to play Thalid's Shell Dweller here. I can't imagine they play a 3-drop that we really want a Mana Leak. And unless we have something to, to, like, start building on the board, I don't feel like keeping Mana Leak up when they're just going to keep attacking us, so... Spellskite? That's exactly what I don't care about. Come on, people now. Smile out your brother everybody get together. So now we can just keep up Mana Leak. That seems fine. And next turn we can submit Growth Chamber or something to still keep up Mana Leak. I mean, in six turns, we're going to have two Thalids. Like, nine turns, we can we can block this guy, so I'm not super concerned. What is this going to be? Vital Splicer. Eh, we'll mana leak that guy. They have two cards left in hand? That seems fine. Oh, man, that's kind of obnoxious because we have Boar Umbra. I mean, they're going to redirect. That's fine. Getting rid of Spellskite's not a huge deal. But we have Boar Umbra, so I'd rather them not redirect our Boar Umbra. Because that seems worse. Oh, what up, Tap Out? For what? I'm somehow too lazy to even Google this. Can you explain Changeling and Totem Armor? Well, Changeling... I, I don't think there's any Changelings on the board. Mm -hmm. 
Totem Armor says, if enchanted creature would be destroyed, instead you remove all damage and destroy the aura instead. So Totem Armor basically says, if you would kill this creature, kill the Boar Umbra instead. I feel like a Dismissor or a Denerva Horde to bounce this idiot. Good grief. Unfortunately, this is going to be a 3-5 now, which does not efficiently block. But we do have a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, Changeling is just all creature types at once. So if you have an elf deck or a tree folk deck and it says like all elves or all tree folks get this, then your Changeling would get it. I'm going to make a sappy boy. Oh, you're going to kill it? Wow. You are a madman. I guess I'll go to six. I have many six drops. I would like to draw one of them. You found a perilous mirror. Sounds good. It's that I. It's a land. Okay. Well, I'm gonna play Boar Umbra on here, and then I'm gonna block. One, two. I'm gonna play Gelatinous Genesis next turn for three. And they have three cards. One of them is a Perilous Mirror, so that's fine. Don't really care about that too much. What up, TPO? Okay, so you have one card and a, and a Perilous Mirror. Got it. Got it. Okay, you have no cards in hand. That's great. And you're really going all in on this Vidalcan Assassin. Um, well, I guess we're just going to Gelatinous Genesis here for seven. Because Grim Afflicting, this guy doesn't really do much because they would actually, it would lose the plus one, plus one counter. Um, and then you couldn't actually proliferate onto it because the counter would be gone. Yeah, I mean, we're definitely blocking with, with two of these guys. I'm not going to block with all three because typically if this is normal 5-6, I'd block with all three in case they had a removal spell. But considering it's death touch, if I block with all three, they all die. I'd rather just block with two and risk that they didn't top deck a removal spell. So, Okay, well, that's pretty good. <laughs> Got rid of that guy who caused a lot of trouble. Yeah, that's fine. Algae Gariel. Ooh, I like that. I also kind of want to Grim Afflict this guy now. Uh, theoretically, your opponent could cost... Yeah, yes, because it's, it, was, it was in Vintage Masters. That is correct. Wish I could proliferate onto this guy too, but... Alas, it was not meant to be. In before they draw their own Boar Umbra and put it on the Will of the Wisp. Why not kill the Flyer? It's an 0-1. 
and it can regenerate. I mean, the regenerate I don't care about, but because of this guy, they can pump to like a 5-5, five five and I have no real answer for that. They were like, no, I don't want to do this after all. Oh boy. You drew a card that costs the exact amount of mana you have. Oh, you changed your mind. Okay. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Seems good. Uh, we're just going to pass here. Okay, maybe they were trying to cast that, and they were like, oh, wait, I don't have mana for this thing. For this fat idiot. Wow. It's actually pretty good when they don't have removal for it right now. Or regenerate, rather. Oh, it can't be regenerate anyway. <laughs> That's pretty good. I mean, the flyer still doesn't bother me. I'd still rather them be able to block my 4-4 with no consequence than have a 5-5 on board that we can't block. Like, <laughs> I don't think that's still, I still don't think that's the correct play. Yeah, the, it can't be regenerated. That means I can just pass the turn. I don't even have to worry about it. So convenient. If they regenerate, I'm just going to murder it. Oh, they did regenerate it. They're going to, like, I'll regenerate it again. Everyone always regenerates it again. It died. This should be an always yes. I'm never going to say no to putting counters on the Gariel. Do you have a favorite tribal deck in any format? Not really. I find it, I don't really, like the appeal of tribal decks doesn't really appeal to me, I guess you could say. I mean, I don't mind them. I mean, like humans is, is a great deck. I, I always enjoy playing slivers uh, in modern when I get the chance to. But um, there's nothing I specifically gravitate towards on my own, if that makes sense. I mean, now we're going to get in there, and if you want to block, it's totally fine. Yep, figured you'd block there. Take three. Yep. Favorite creature type? Hmm. Hmm. That is a good question. I'm trying to think of my favorite creatures and see if there's... Maybe it might just be Dragon. I do enjoy a good Nicol Bolas. I 
Oh, Ninja's good too, actually. I do like Ninja, especially uh, Fallen Shinobi and Ninja of the Deep Hours. Those are both solid gentlemen. Yep, they were definitely thinking of something. They can't they can't hit two of my best creatures here, so they could hit the Thalid Shell Dweller because it it's a pretty good blocker. And it keeps generating guys slowly but surely. It's either I mean it's either Shell Dweller or Thorn Weld Archer, both of which are not what you really want to hit. I mean Trick we do have uh Skyreach Manta to block, thankfully. But if they get rid of the Sky Reach Man, how do they get two? Oh, they harmonize. I was like, how do they get so many cards in their hand? I thought they were, I thought they were top decking it here. Algae Garial. Gary. Hmm. Well, that is fascinating. What do we want them to redraw? Probably Will of the Wisp, right? I could also just get rid of Elephant forever. Thank you. Yeah, I think this is probably better. Ben Big Card, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it, my dude. Now they can double block here, which I don't love. I think the Garial is a really big game. Um, I don't think talking about the one ones is really where you want to be. This seems fine. Will was surprisingly obnoxious here. Oh, they're just going to block there and shoot me for two, perhaps? Could see that happening. I could also just kill my 2-2. Two -two. This Gargoyle's getting huge. Man, this is the same game where they had the friggin' throw kill assassin attacking me for 19 turns with the elephant umbra. Elephant guide, rather. <laughs> it's not an umbra. Eternal witness. Wow, that seems really good. Good grief. They're getting back. Elephant guide. Cool. Yep, that's pretty good. Wow. That was a great draw. <sighs> Guess I'll block. Gotta draw something here. Literal top deck mode. Denova Horror. Fucking land. Great. Fun times. Yep. Love that. I think Famine still seems fine here. I 
it's just really frustrating. Would Dimrova help? Yeah, I mean, why? Would, yeah, it would definitely help. I could bounce their Shriek Maw. They get to play it again and kill the irrelevant creature, but then they can't kill the horror, and we can block it with the horror, and they lose their Elephant God. Well, I mean, I can't even think of a reason why that wouldn't help. It seems like a fantastic draw there. Same thing with Dismisser. But Dismisser doesn't block, so we still have the same problem. Do you think that Kaldheim MTGO Modern Super Qualifier will fire? I have no, what that is, no idea what that is, so... I, I, I have no opinion on it one way or the other. Really taking their time sideboarding here. Yeah, sure, I'll take this. The only question is, do we play Mercenary? <sighs> oh, we just... They just F6 through their turn. And they have to discard. That's pretty brutal. Oh no. <laughs> oh god. I mean that's all oh, that's not terrible discard, so I'm definitely not gonna like I'm still gonna play my land here. Modern qualifier that gives invitation to arena split championship and needs split arena and then you're like, it gives you a qualification for the arena split championship. So just to be clear, the modern qualifier on MTGO. Uh <laughs> Sick roar tech. Uh, just to be clear, the modern qualifier on MTGO qualifies you for the Arena Split Championship on Magic Arena. I don't know what either of those things are. So, you know. I wasn't... Okay, so I wasn't going to play this guy. I was like, maybe I'll just hold off until I get... And then I drew Boar Umbra. And now I'm going to put an Umbra on this guy. And we're going to attack for five shadow every turn. Oh yeah, this is gonna be. Give me a, a, a bounce land, a signet. Damn it, I want to play the signet, but I don't want to not do this. So also, being a black creature seems very good against the black deck. This guy's aggressive. Me and Katie and Mike have been rewatching Stranger Things, and we're on season three right now. And uh, this guy's really on brand for for some stranger things oh they they killed it well that's sad oh boy wait huh interesting land bounce land of all things okay well that's an island um Okay, well, we got some lands here. Do they just go Roar of the Worm now? And then we're like, wow, I can't actually deal with that. That's hilarious if they do. <laughs> Again, we have three blue sources. Not a second green for Ant Queen. That's got to be worse than just 6-6 six, six Roar, right? Just make 3-3 three, three Skyreach mana. It's really the only thing we can do, which is unfortunate because it does die to famine. I feel like we're literally dying this game. It's still fine. Actually, we can just use famine to probably kill them in the late game.
It's still a 3 3 flyer, and we can hunt the weak something and make it a 4 4. It's not the worst. I will take 4. And if we hit a land, Vidalcan Dismissor actually does some serious work against, like, Roar or Twisted Abomination. Or that guy. Land? Oh boy. So I can't cast Ant Queen. I can hunt the weak this guy, which is probably my best bet because it puts them on a three turn clock. Oh boy. We do take 10 here, but then we can dismiss something. Probably the Dreadmaw, because they just have to cast it again. Yeah, that's a big oof. Ideally, we can draw, like, Vines. That would be nice. Not only for its protective capabilities, but also because it lets us win a turn sooner. Which could be all we need. Yep, I figured they'd play that guy. Doesn't have trample though. Four, five, six. Dismisser. Bounce this guy. The problem is if they have a removal spell, we die. But. I mean, I have to play to win, not to lose. And if we bounce the worm, they still have 10, but this gives them one fewer draws. And it also prevents them from having a trampler on board. Like. Okay, okay, that's good. It's only hitting creatures here, and they're dead on board. They're looking for Will of the Wisp, I imagine. Oh, wow! Good gravy. Well, Shriek Maw's not going to do any. Oh, I guess Shriek Maw's going to get rid of my 2 2, but yeah, I guess they could invoke that. They have a lot of big dudes. <laughs> They're all 6 6s, so I don't see Havoc Demon doing a lot. Gaseous Form could be fine. I mean, it's funny, game one they had like a 2-3, an 0-1, a 3-3, and a 3-2, and, and we put in Famine, and the next game they have 6-6, six, 4-4, six, four, four, six, six, and you're like, okay, well, I guess your deck is all over the place. <laughs> can't really, can't really deal with that. Um, this guy's got Death Touch, though, which is pretty nice. I think it's actually just Gaseous for him. And you just put on a 6-6. Six, six. I mean... The problem is it gives them a blocker for infinity. And they do have nature's claim. I'll just we'll just submit. We have yet to draw or cast in Rova Horror, which is sad. <laughs> Fuck. Ugh god, this hand's great if we had a blue source. Just go island sanctuary. Might be sometimes is a gaseous form. I will mulligan because his hand is unfortunately unkeepable. And this one's actually pretty decent. Turn two forest, turn three ranger. Um, I kind of want to ship dismisser, but it's so strong. <laughs> We'll keep. I'm going to ship the six mana guy. <laughs> Just seems correct. I'm 
Okay. Arctic Avenger, what up, my dude? Didn't even see you. I didn't see you there. <laughs> oh, there it is. Spoke too soon. If we draw a natural blue source, we can keep up circular logic, which does nothing, actually. We have no cards in the graveyard. Let's not do that. God, I th we're going to play this game again? <laughs> Unfortunately, Hunt the Week will kill whatever creature we fight with, but what can you do? Well, we did hit a land naturally. But it doesn't let us cast anything, so I think we're just going to go get our blue source. Because next turn, if we get a second blue source, we can go... Psychotog, keep up circular logic. Yep, again, we're just gonna take two from that guy. It is turn four, they missed two land drops. Ooh, they missed one land drop. I always yield to that. I'm never gonna have a real response to putting a counter on that guy. I think I just I think this time I actually do just keep up circular logic because they are having some mana issues. We also are on track to actually cast in Rove of Horror this game. We don't have two blue for Psychotog and Circular Logic, no, which is why I'm I'd rather just wait to get a second blue. Oh yeah, the conceited trick is really old. Like you start grabbing your lands and you scoop them up and then your opponent also scoops his up. But then you're like, oh, I was just adjusting my stuff. And like, it's really, it's really, it's one of those scumbag moves from the old days of magic, unfortunately. Stinkweed Imp. God, I really don't care about that. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> You can have a Stinkweed Imp. We also have a Mana Leak in our deck somewhere, right? I thought I saw one of those somewhere. Okie dokie. Well, now I'm just going to play Psychotog. Oh, four mana. Here we go. I mean, reason being is that we have Denrova Horror for next turn. So I'm not super concerned. with what they can play here. I'm just not going to block either of these things. I would like a second island, though. Maybe I would? Oh, jeez. That's good. Well, that is unfortunate. It is our second green source, so we can either cast Nerva Horror or keep up Sanctuary. I think we're going to go one, two, three, four. Bounce this guy. Oh, wow. The gift that keeps on giving. Jesus. This, I, this might be the first time Denerva Horror has actually backfired. I've never seen that happen before. That's a yikes for me, dog. That's the gift that keeps on giving, Clark. 
Well, the token does not have trample. Just don't be land. Putrefy is a it's a ridiculously good option right now. Wow. One, two, three. Kill that thing. Now we get to keep. Do 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 do. Wow, this is actually that was really convenient. Again, we have our Celestian Sanctuary, one of two, which means our Sky Manta would be a 4-4 four, four again, which is just always nice. <sighs> Vital Splicer, huh? I think we're going to counter this. I don't see a reason not to use the Psychotog portion. Counter Vital Spice. Vital Spicer. Because we're also going to use Hunt the Wild. Hunt the Wild. Hunt the Weak on this guy. Oh, I wanted to put a guy into play. I hit, I hit five to make sure we... That could be good. Oh, the twisted A bomb. Seems good. How much can we deal? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Could have been eleven. I mean, we know they still have the death kill cultist. Yep. I think they're leaving that a one, two. <laughs> Sounds good. Just make some thalids here, just in case we want to block or attack, rather. One of those things. Grim Affliction. Hmm. I think we just attack with everything here. I mean, if they want to trade here or for the Psychotog, it's fine. They're at eight, I feel like we are favored to. Especially with two lands in hand that I don't care about discarding. Oh, interesting. Okay, okay. I have to discard nothing then. Oh no, don't have like Disfigure. They have Disfigure, don't they? Golgari Charm, oh wow, that's pretty decent. Well. Okay. It's uh, one for one, I guess, but yeah, it's I actually probably should have played a land because we um do have gelatinous genesis in hand, and I'd rather have four four fours next turn. What just happened? Oh, they've got their stinkweed impact. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two, and five. Dunzo in the bunzo. Well, they can go block, block. It's 
Okay. Sure. Uh. They have five minutes, we have 12. Good lord, that's a significant difference. That's pretty fascinating. So they can go block, block. It still doesn't seem great here. But I do feel like they're like way ahead on resources here. Yep, here comes the big guns now. Colossal Dreadmaw. No? Ghoul Steed. That's actually fine. That's interesting. What if we pump this guy to a 4-4? Deal 3 to everything. I think that's game, right? Oh, baby. <laughs> Short of them having disfigure here. And they still have to trade with Ghoul Steed. And they're still... Oh, famine, famine coming in clutch there, dude. Ooh. Got him. I'm actually, oh, ow. You ever scratch your ear too hard and then it just hurts and you're like, oh, fuck, I went too, I went too hard on my ear. I am going to cut one of the islands for, I don't know, probably... It literally could just be the famine. I think it's good enough. It deals three to the face. I think it's just better than having a 16th, 17th land. Thankfully, Vines of the Basswood and... Uh, Famine is a game winning combination. Sideboard in a grape shop package. That's probably the most Kerwood thing you've ever said. Let's see if we can trophy this first Masters draft. This is actually a pretty sweet format so far. I think the card power level is high enough that I'm like interested in it. It's not a bunch of generic 3 2s and 3 3s and 3 4s. Which, as you guys know, is my least favorite part of drafting normal sets. Um, yeah, this seems fine. Has literally all of our colors and five mana. Unfortunately, we will have to discard because we're on the draw, which is the worst part about Bounce Lands. But it's kind of a small price to pay when you're, like, doubling up all your manas. Yeah, it's a pretty easy one to discard as well. Or we can play it. Play Psychotog. Actually, I guess we don't have a reason to, to really just run out bounce lands if it's going to cost us mana like we could easily go psychotog into next turn bounce land and still keep up circular logic so not sure what we're going to be countering with 
Mark, sometimes you just need to shut up. <laughs> oh, Lord. Mark, 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 Mark. I think we're just going to Grim Affliction this, make it a 1-1. One, one. One, one Boros Reckoner is significantly less threatening, unless they go like... They look like they're mono white. Hmm, just kidding. Wow. Two color non red deck with Boros Reckoner? That is aggressive. I can only wonder how many times they've gotten that Boros Reckoner out. The problem with Boros Reckoner is that A, like, Psychotog is a terrible blocker against it if we just play it next turn. And B is that, uh, like, if we Grim, Grim Affliction first, we're just going to take significantly less damage. Maybe we should have played Sanctuary, because next turn we can play Sky Manta. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that, that would have probably been better. I was more concerned with getting a second blue out there. Oh, I just got a notification about someone subscribing to Manatraders.com, which is an amazing subscription service, and you guys should check them out. You can get 20% off, 15% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down in the description. Oh, they didn't they didn't attack. Weird. Well, the, fact, the thing is we have nothing to do here except for, like, play a sanctuary. And, of course, they play their six drop on the turn. We don't have circular logic up. Um, we could famine here. It's not exciting at all, unfortunately. We're just going to take Forest back. I'm taking Forest back. You guys remember that time Justin Timberlake took Forest back? Now we get to play Island, use this five to play Manta and keep up. Oh, that's really good. We can't even circuit the logic that, unfortunately. Oh god, Sylvan Library is a banger. It's a lot of lands. I do appreciate them. Well, we get to block their angel now. I don't know who wanted to give Psychotog new art, but they were wrong. I agree, the old art is fantastic. It's just classic. Classic Dr. Teeth. They kept a card. We dealt them four. Seems satisfying. I don't really care about that. I mean, if we block here, we're probably just going to famine and keep a guy. Keep a, keep a Psychotog. That seems hard to deal with. I just discard three lands. Sure feels like it. One. Two. Uh, three. Let's 
wait? What am I waiting for? Why did you discard all those? Because... Counter a spell unless it's control pays one for each card in our graveyard. If we only had three, they couldn't... They could pay, so they had to have four. Because circular logic has text on it. <laughs> That's why. I will block. Oh, wait, what? What? Is our last card Eternal Witness? I'm very confused right now. You know what? Sure. Whatever you're up to, I'll bite. Like, I'm pretty sure your last card is Eternal Witness. <laughs> sure. Not ideal. Well, they didn't play the Eternal Witness. Why would they attack with this? I don't understand. Pulse of Marasa? Yeah, that's what I figured. Okay. Oh, God. Sure. And you gain life. Seems good. And you have Sylvan Library. Seems good. Probably bringing in Havoc Demon here. Five five that kills Boros Reckoner without consequence. It kills all their angels. Ancient stirring. <laughs> Okie dokie, you got it. Same with two cards in your hand. Mana Vault. <laughs> Oh dear. I guess we're crushing it. Boy, oh boy. Remember that time we had Mana Leak in our deck and we were able to cast it efficiently on on their creatures? Oh boy. Eye Blight's ending, huh? Give me that give me that eye blight. Oh, Vines of the Vastwood. I don't think that's gonna. I mean, like, we could always pump and block and we're alive. So, yeah, four, five. No, five, six, rather. Six. So, I mean, like, it's not dead. We can just sack Swamp Island. One, two, three, four, five, still leaves us a six mana. It's not terrible. And I mean, in 14 turns, they're just dead to their own mana vault, so.
Uh, I will likely do one more draft after this, yeah. Unfortunately, even famine at an instant doesn't do much. Yeah. <sighs> Cast with Kickerino. Psh, psh. All swords to plowshares it in response. No? Something else? <laughs> okay. Seems good. Congratulations. You're very good at Magic the Gathering. Oh boy. Alright, if your opponent has... Yep, I guess we'll just bring in Havoc Demon. I mean, it doesn't seem good, that good. Spider Armor also seems kind of fine. Yeah, alright. I'll just play 41. I don't care. Uh, snap keep on the play. That seems great. Wow. Fascinating. That seems really good. What the fuck? Yeah, you're right. You're right. Hmm. I think it's actually Shell Dweller here. I mean, I think I think there's an argument that can be made for circular logic. I just don't know how to make it because we don't have any cards in our graveyard, so it's not great right now. Here comes Johnny's pride mate. Mana Vault instead. So, Mana Vault into nothing. Oh, that's actually perfect. The Mirror Signet into Growth Chamber. Into Ant Queen next turn. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that seems great. Oh, good. Herbus Protector already? Seems good. Oh, dang. We can play a Skyreach Manta next turn if we played Celestia Sanctuary. But I guess I think we're just going to Ant Queen here. Ant Queen is only for second of the night. I have to ask, think about who you feel like is the best Magic player of all time. Now, how badly could you beat them in a farting contest? Not terribly badly. I, I mean, 
I guess the thing about it is I really don't know how how well the best magic player I think of farts. You know what I mean? That was a good card to play on my uh on my Ant Queen. I think the Torok is a good card to play in general. Rest in peace and woolly loxodon. All right. I mean, jokes on them, they're at twenty already. Sure. Big Prids. Pulse of Morales to get back my Woolly Loxodon. Oh, we're convoking. It seems good. Yep. <sighs> the old gain four pump my Johnny's pride mate. Solid strategy. Well, one, two, three, four, five. Then we have two mana left over. So I guess we'll keep up. Oh, they have no cards in hand? That's pretty good for us, I guess. I almost want to take four more points so I can block the angel next turn. But I guess it's fine to trade with angel when we have shoreline ranger. Oh, they just don't attack. That's even better for us. Yeah, that's really good. Psychotog. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mana, so I don't think we want to play shoreline ranger. I think we just want to play Psychotog here. Keep up vines and keep up circle logique. Boy, this being able to get rid of this face fetter would be great here. Rest in peace seems like a really weird choice. I guess it counters circle logic, but not great. a lot of mana five harmonize again god these guys love harmonizing against me second deck in a row that's how to harmonize uh i have played among us Yeah, that's fine. I could care less about an ever flowing chalice. <sighs> I wish I had an island here. Because then I could play this guy, keep up green. Hmm. Six. No, I couldn't. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's, like, it's unfortunate because we can either keep up. Green, green, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can either hear about green, green, or blue, green. I think it's got to be the blue, green. Did 
I'm just going to keep taking mana from Mana Vault. They'll be dead soon. Dismissing Ant Queen to get the Fetters off? Maybe. I mean, it really depends on our position. I mean, I think this is very, very protective right now. Which means, like, they can't really get through with the Angel, but I also would be very tempted to just put the Angel on top. They have four cards in hand? Jesus. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care about the Cosmolex Predator. <sighs> that's also fine. I don't really care about any of these things, really. Do like an algae gariel. Gariel. One, two, three, four. I like that better actually. I think. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll just play ga gariel. I kind of do want to attack with Manta here. Because we still have vines up. Yeah, we have to start getting some damage in at some point. The funny thing is in that last game, if I actually play Vines before blocks, they wouldn't have been able to uh, either tow. Is that what it's called? Either tow it? Yeah, if they trade, they might just have a 3-4 and I, the Gariel goes up. But, I mean, like having Circular Logic and Vines in hands is a nice one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 2, 3, They have a lot of mana. So let's be very clear that a uh, let's cast it first. Okay. This is actually a really good block for us. Oh, ah, oh, dang it! Yes. I meant to put, you have to say always yes first. And then you have to say always yield. If you say always yield for, yeah, sure. These, none of these cards matter. Spider Umber seems pretty decent. Yeah, Gariel doesn't care about tokens or anything. It's really, it's really ridiculous. Um, well, I think this is better to put it on, but this guy's also fine. Okay. I feel like Circular Logic is uh, not nearly as good as it once was, but... <sighs> do we do anything in the turn? Not really. I don't care about making Thalids here. We're not going to attack with them. I mean, this is a two-turn clock. Yeah, and now either if they have, like, either toe they just die to the other flyer so they have like two answers here and if they had a last turn or an answer they would have played it I'm sure I mean these are just cards that are gonna be discarded to Psychotog in order to pump our circular logic I don't think subtle wreckage is in this format I have no idea what this is. Sure. Oh, it has conspire. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
Okay. I don't think we can do that. I did forget about the conspire, and that's my bad. Uh, yeah, all right. Here comes Ulamog's Crusher because that would be the perfect. I think we should have just attacked with one. Had I remembered Conspire, like I was literally playing around it, but if I was remembering Conspire, I, I would have played around it differently and correctly. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's fucking incredible. And this is going to die exactly. That's amazing. This is real life. Their, they, their last card in hand was a Leshnorn. Cool. I mean, I can discard two cards. <laughs> if I could make this a 3-3, it's actually humongous. But I think we're still dead this turn. So, cool guys. A Leshnorn either toe. Must be nice. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. It's really hard to beat the Mana Vault, Sylvan Library, uh... A Leshnor and Aether to every game deck. I will see you guys next time. Hopefully you uh, enjoyed the content. Hopefully you slam those like and subscribe buttons. Hopefully you support the channel. Head over to Twitch. Try to try to slip me a, a, a Twitch Prime sub or, an, or, an, or just a regular sub. It's a great way to support the channel. I'll see you next time.